dogs are awesome. You know, some of them came said, around here. I in the know. Newsroom. Our boss had a great so idea. Nice. Brought some in. And did you notice how everybody cut away from work oh, and were focused on the dogs? I know. Here. It was great. Very All uplifting. Right. We are just getting started, folks. Indeed, we are. CBS News Miami Morning Edition at 6 starts right now. Off the top of six, we are following breaking news. A large crash investigation underway right now in Pompano Beach. What our crews are finding on the scene. Late afternoon showers will be possible in addition to record heat. A family devastated this morning after a girl loses her life while out on the water trying to have some fun. I'm Terry Hornstein near Key Biscayne with the investigation now underway to find the person responsible. The prosecution's star witness takes the stand today in the criminal trial against former President Donald Trump. I'm Naomi Ruckham in New York with how Michael Cohen's testimony could shape the case moving forward. And the Florida Panthers now just one win away from the Eastern Conference Finals. How they took care of business on the road in Game 4 against the Boston Bruins. This is CBS News Miami Morning Edition. All right, we're coming up on 6 o'clock Monday, May 13th. Good morning to you. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm Keith Jones. Yes, hey everybody, I'm Betty Wynn. Thanks for making us a part of your morning this Monday. Let's get to next weather meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez to see how warm or hot, I should say, <laughs> it's going to get today. Yeah, <laughs> downright hot. But welcome back, Betty. It's nice to have you Thank with you. us. Hopefully you enjoyed your time off and Mother's Day. Hopefully all of you at home enjoyed a mo nice Mother's Day weekend as well, despite the heat. And we're going to continue with that here this week week ahead 78 degrees in Miami 82 in Fort Lauderdale and in Key West right now we're waking up to the mid to upper 70s pretty much across most of Broward and Nade County wind out of the east off the ocean 5 10 miles an hour we're dry so at least that's good news as you're getting ready to head out the door and head to work and the kids headed to the bus stop to school and we're looking at our hourly forecast here and as you're planning your day make sure you have plenty of water with you right because we're gonna a warm up in a hurry 86 by 11 a.m. 87 by 1 p.m. highs topping out around the upper 80s 90 this afternoon. There is a 20% chance for a few showers, but when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like the upper 90s and the hundreds as soon as today, and it will get even hotter as we head towards the middle of the week and the end of the week. We're going to see that rain chance rising as well. We'll talk more about that as well coming up. Let's get a check of your drive with Austin. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Well, listen, it's going to be a slow ride this morning. If you're making your way into Northwest Miami Dade, mainly south of the Golden Glades interchange, here's a look at our camera near your off ramps to 195 and also to uh, get you onto 112 over to the airport. Very slow in this area. You're going to see a lot of flashing lights and emergency crews. A crash now reported with two left lanes that are blocked. So that's why you're seeing all of that activity out there right now. Very slow. The express lanes are crawling and then you're seeing slow traffic really stretching across all of the southbound lanes here. So a slow ride Northwest 7th Avenue, which kind of hugs 95 to the west. That could be an alternate for you. But the good news is it does pick up as you head down to 836 northbound. Things are looking great all the way up to the Golden Glades. We're going to check in with Chopper 4 here in a little bit and give you a look at current traffic conditions in Broward County in just a few. Back to you. And so it begins. OK, awesome. Thank you. 602 is the time now. The search is on this morning for the boater who killed a girl while she was water skiing near Key Biscayne over the weekend. A reward is now on the table for anyone who can lead investigators to that suspect. Yeah, CBS News Miami's Terry Hornstein is live near Key Biscayne with these crucial clues that officials are hoping will help in the search. Good morning, Terry. At your southbound alternate as you roll into Miami-Dade County. I love these alternates that you provide. I want you riding with me every <laughs> time Listen, I'm in a car, right? I'm always a phone call, text away. It's like a ways. Yeah, Personal exactly. ways. Exactly. You, know? you should add my voice to your ways. You know how you can add That's your own. That's true. Oh, I didn't know that. That's your next project. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. so cool. <laughs> That's going to do it for CBS News Miami Morning Edition. But the news does not stop. Junk food can be good for the soul, but researchers say mm -hmm. very bad for your lifespan. What they say you need to cut out right now. You can stream us now on CBS News Miami, Pluto TV, the CBS News app, and tune into TV 33 for the news itself. And then make sure to join us at 9 a.m. for more news, weather, and traffic. We'll see you back here in a minute.